In this video, you'll learn how to manage lists of objects to improve scene organization and workflow using Timeflow. Timeflow has several different ways of viewing objects dynamically, as well as the possibility of saving lists for later recall. The most common methods for displaying objects use the current selection from the hierarchy or scene view. To view selected game objects in the Timeflow view, press the button Show Selected Only, or use the keyboard shortcut Alt tilde. Note that this option is only available if the object selected is not already in the view. To add the current selection to the view, appending it to the list already displayed, press the button Add Selected, or use the keyboard shortcut Alt Shift tilde. These commands can also be accessed from the main menu under Tools, Timeflow Display. Using these shortcuts speeds up your workflow by making it quick and easy to view any object selected. These commands also perform the one-time setup of adding the Timeflow object component. Other useful display modes include the ability to clear the view by selecting nothing from the drop-down menu or using the keyboard shortcut tilde. To display all Timeflow objects in the scene at once, select everything from the menu or use the keyboard shortcut Control alt tilde Please note that displaying everything can affect editor performance if displaying a large set of objects or animations. The other dynamic display mode is Active Selection, which may be selected from the menu or by using the keyboard shortcut Control alt shift tilde When this mode is active, the Timeflow view automatically shows any object selected. However, it is important to note that any objects not already set up with a Timeflow object component are ignored and not displayed in this mode. This is to prevent adding unnecessary components to your scene when selecting objects that aren't yet animated. A helpful tool when using any of the display modes is to lock the current display by clicking the lock icon in the upper right corner of the panel. This keeps the current displayed objects in the view, preventing any changes until unlocked. At any time, lists of objects may be saved as a display list by clicking the Save icon or selecting Save Display from the drop-down menu. This process may be repeated to save as many lists as you need to help organize your scene. To load a previously saved list, simply select it from the drop-down menu. Display lists can be managed by selecting Edit List from the menu, which opens up the Timeflow Inspector to the Display List section. This shows each of the saved lists for further editing. To create a new display list here, first lock the Inspector window to keep it visible. Then select the objects in the hierarchy view that you wish to add, and click the button Add Selected Objects. This adds a new display list, automatically naming it from the selected objects, which can then be customized further. Note that the Timeflow object itself cannot be added to a display list. Remember to unlock the Inspector view when finished. Once multiple lists have been saved, you may use the arrow buttons in the Timeflow view to cycle through them, or use the keyboard shortcuts Alt Left Arrow and Alt Right Arrow. At any time, you may remove a display list by selecting Remove Display from the drop-down menu, or select Clear All Display List to remove all lists. Note that this only clears the list and does not destroy any objects or animations. In the next video, we'll go over assigning and using quick select objects.